Lucas, Luke 18. And he spoke a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, saying, There was in a city a judge which feared not Yah, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not Yah, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And Adonai said, Hear what the unjust judge says. And shall not Yahuwah avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of Adam comes, shall he find belief on the earth? And he spoke this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a parashee and the other a publican. The parashee stood and prayed thus with himself, Elohim, I thank you that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, breakers of wedlock, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the Shabbat, as I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, Yahuwah, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other. For every one that exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. And they brought unto him also infants, that he would touch them. But when his Talmudim saw it, they rebuked them. But Yahusha called them unto him and said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such Rather, for of such is the kingdom of Yahuwah. Amen, I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive at the kingdom of Yahuwah as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good rabbi, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Then Yahusha said unto him, Why do you call me good? None is good, save one, that is Yahuwah. You know the commandments. Do not break wedlock, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness. Honor at your father and at your mother. And he said, All these I have kept from my youth up. Now when Yahusha heard these things, he said unto him, Yet one thing you lack, rather, yet lack you one thing. Sell all that you have and distribute unto the poor, and you shall have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Yahusha saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of Yahuwah? For it is easier for a rope to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahuwah. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with Yah. Then Kepha said, Lo, we have left all and followed you. And he said unto them, Amen, I say unto you, There is no man that has left house or parents or brethren or woman or children for the kingdom of Yahweh's sake who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come, life everlasting. Then he took unto him the twelve, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Yerushalayim, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the son of Adam shall be accomplished. 
for he shall be delivered unto the other nations, and shall be mocked, and spitefully entreated, and spitted on, and they shall scourge him, and put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. And they understood none of these things, and this saying was hid from them, neither knew they the things which were spoken. And it came to pass, that as he was come nigh unto Yericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside, begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him that Yahusha, the Netzari, passes by. And he cried, saying, Yahusha, son of David, have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him, that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Yahusha stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What will you that I shall do unto you? And he said, Adonai, that I may receive my sight. And Yahusha said unto him, Receive your sight. Your belief has saved you. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying Yah. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto Yahuwah.